In the heart of a city consumed by shadows, their love was a dream shrouded in unspoken secrets. The lovers, Sarah and William, both belonged to families etched in darkness, their legacies rooted in the blackest corners of a wicked city. No one whispered their surnames. To say them was to summon a curse. Their love was a forbidden dance between the edge of twilight and the precipice of night. Sarah's family dealt in shadows, capturing them within the glassy eyes of taxidermid animals. William's kin owned a vast menagerie of carnivorous plants, their leaves razor-sharp and their appetite insatiable. The lovers, desperate to be together, dared not defy their family's ancient enmity. Instead, they would meet in secret at the city's abandoned observatory, where the remnants of the past were consumed by the churning fog that shrouded the sky. Time, in its cruel manner, burned at their heels. Sarah's heart ached with the knowledge that their love was as transient as the pale moonlight that filtered through the broken glass of the observatory. The city, she knew, was not content with leaving them be. The shadows that lurked in the alleys whispered her name, their voices dripping with the bitter venom of envy. One fateful night, as the lovers clung to each other in the dim observatory, the shadows crept in, slithering through the cracked glass, and wove a blanket of night around Sarah. Her eyes turned black as the void, and her once warm touch turned cold as the deepest winter. William, aghast, could only watch as the darkness wrapped its tendrils around Sarah's heart. Desperate to save her, William stole away to his family's greenhouse. Ignoring the ominous rustling of the plants around him, he sought out the rarest and most dangerous of them all, the heart swallow. A plant capable of devouring the darkness that now held Sarah captive. He knew that the price of using the heart swallow was great, but he couldn't bear the thought of losing Sarah to the shadows. Sarah's eyes were hollow, her voice a whisper in the night. The heart swallow, pulsating with malicious intent, lay cradled in William's hands. He hesitated, knowing the cost that would come from unleashing the ravenous plant. Sarah. Sensing his fear, reached out with her icy fingers, gently touching his trembling hand. Do not fear the darkness, my love, she murmured, a ghostly smile playing on her lips. For even in the deepest shadow, we have found each other. With a heavy heart, William released the heart swallow. It sprung forth, a writhing mass of bark tendrils that enveloped Sarah. As the plant devoured the shadows, it also consumed her essence. William's heart cracked with each passing second, his love slipping through his fingers like sand in an hourglass. As the heart swallow relinquished its hold, Sarah's eyes cleared and her warmth returned. But in her place stood a stranger, her memories devoured by the ravenous plant, the darkness had been vanquished, but at the cost of the love that had defied it. Their love, once a beacon in the shadows, was now a memory lost to the city's ever-churning fog. Sarah and William, now strangers, walked away from the abandoned observatory, each to their own family's realm of darkness. The love they had once shared had been snuffed out, leaving only echoes of its existence in the wind. Their families, oblivious to the sacrifice, remained locked in their bitter rivalry, the city's shadows growing ever darker, ever more ravenous. In the city consumed by shadows, love had been a fleeting, fragile thing. Sarah and William would live out their days in the darkness that had always been their birthright, a bittersweet reminder of the love that could not be. And in the abandoned observatory, amidst the shattered glass and the whispers of a lost past, the remnants of their love would linger, a ghostly memory condemned to haunt the heart of the wicked city.